All right, thank you for joining me with this SHTF Garden Current Events. All right, so this comes from the World Economic Forum. This is a insight report put out in May 2022. This is from the executive summary, some of these slides. Let's see what they've got going for us. So we want clean demand signals could be a turning point for accelerated clean, clean supply. The next generation of amphibious multi-task holder collaboration between suppliers and consumers, between energy and experts, cross-industry peers, gobbledygook, gobbledygook. What are they planning? Two things. High energy prices to be able to force people over to the green agenda. And why would they want to do that? Well, of course, because of climate change. So you got anchoring climate commitments, legally binding frameworks. They're trying to get the uh, various countries to participate because by law. They're not putting this out there for a vote. All this thing, stuff you see about, oh, we want democracy. All this other stuff, we want democracy. Has anybody ever, let me ask you this, has anybody ever asked you what you thought about it? Has it ever been put to any kind of poll? Has it ever been put in any kind of legislative action or a referendum to be voted on by the people? Of course not. Of course not, because these people control the world, and they that's what they want. They want to build an attractive investment landscape, and they want to control you. So, we got energy affordability, security challenges, reinforce the need to supercharge the transition by accelerating investments in new decarbonized energy system and embedding more efficient energy consumption habits in post-pandemic societies. In other words, they are going to raise the prices until you have to you bend. They're going to raise prices until you bend and until you break and until you are forced to go along with what they want. If you're not interested in all this stuff, too bad, you're getting it anyway. If you don't like, you know, driving an electric car, if you don't want them being able to have the ability to track everywhere you go, everything you do, turn your car off by denying it power or possibly even through a software cut off switch, then that's too bad. You're going to get it anyway. If you want reliable energy, no, of course not. It, this is a big giant socialist agenda takeover. And for those people who, you know, think socialism might be a good idea, yeah, I try not to go too far into politics, but at some point in time, we have to call this what it is. This is an intentional breakdown of our society so that they can engineer a takeover. And you cannot raise every single person in the world to a high American standard. Everybody can't be rich. Somebody has to still be poor. And unfortunately, the only way to make everybody 100% equal across the board, except for those in power is to make everybody equally poor. These agendas do not work in a free society. They just don't. People's not going to go along with it. You're just not going to go along with having to put your air conditioner thermostat at 80 degrees every day for somebody else's agenda. You're just not going to do it, not unless they force you to. So anyways, let's continue going on or going too much of a rant about this because this is the kind of society they want us to live in. This is the lifestyle they have in mind for you, drying your clothes, living in a shanty. All right, let's go take a look at some of this. So we got oil and gas, cement, steel, chemicals, coal mining, and we got the big ones that are the biggest green trends, uh, 80% of industrial emissions. So this is the, the, the targets here. These are the things they want to be able to control, eliminate as much as possible. Notice agriculture is at 19%. Electricity is at 27%. Transportation is at 16%. That's greater than half of all the emissions right there. So in order to reach these green climate agenda goals, which if anybody's interested, um, I may do a whole separate video or maybe a series of videos. There's a lot of information to unpack there as to why I am skeptical, uh, very much skeptical of any of this happening when it comes to man-made global warming. I'm not a big believer in it. And it's not because I haven't done the research, I have done the research, and that's why I'm not a big believer in it. You want to go and be environmentally friendly, that's fine. Take plastic out the ocean or find some other uh, cause that is worthy. This whole thing about 0.4 tenths you know, tenth of 1% um, carbon in the atmosphere being the driver of climate change, the whole idea that nitrogen pollution from fertilizers it's a cause of climate change when 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen 
is completely preposterous. But anyways, I'll, I'll make, I don't go too much of a tangent, but I'll may look into that, um, doing a video on that if there's interest. It's a lot of research, so if there's not any interest, I probably won't do it. But if there is interest, then I, then I will delve into it. So let me know in the comments section if you would be interested in seeing some breakdowns of some of these studies. Not articles about the studies, but the studies themselves that are behind some of these articles that uh, propagandize people. Anyway, so transportation, agriculture, and electricity. So the only way you can start achieving these these net zero goals is to control the electricity. The only way you can control the agriculture is if by nitrogen fertilizer, as just mentioned, as well as cows and other farm animal burps and stuff. Transportation, they've, that's been a big target um, from there because you have to look at it. If you can have power, if you can have agriculture and you can have transportation and you have a decent standard of living, you, there's no real incentive for you to buy into all this. You have, the only way they can push this on people is to bring you to your knees. All right, so let's continue on. Retail electric prices continue rapid rise. U.S. homes could pay more than 15 cents kilowatt hour next year. All right, so this is from... I don't know, 10, 12 days ago. So more than 20 million families are behind the utility bills and debt is growing, according to National Energy Association Directors Association, Assistance Directors Association. So the prices of electricity are going through the roof. Now, it doesn't seem like that many years ago, depending on where you live, that price was 10, 11 cents a kilowatt hour. So between that space of a couple of years ago, um, at least where I lived, till next year presumably if this is accurate there's going to be a 50 percent increase in the cost of electricity all right so natural gas used to generate electricity heat now costs about 10 times more than did a year ago now this is in europe so germany in particular so i was looking at germany as uh, germany's the biggest economy in europe so well i started looking at what these prices are doing I looked at Germany to see where they're at because they're also where Nord Stream 1, which is the Russian pipeline, was going into. Well, it still goes into there. It's just not getting a lot of, of natural gas from Russia, if any. So right now, because Russia's tightening screws on the flow of gas, energy markets are locked in a relentless upward climb. All right, so Gazprom, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, the Russian gas giant, so it would temporarily shut the key uh, pipeline to Germany at the end of August. Of course, the stoke and market fears. Electricity prices have been extremely volatile in Britain. The wholesale price of a megawatt hour of electricity, enough to supply 2,000 homes for an hour. Let's go over to that. It's roughly five times the level it was in late August. So in a space of just a few months, just a couple months, they have gone up by five times the cost. That is enough to collapse a society that's enough to have riots in the streets all right so here it is it plotted in a chart so if you look at this germany surpassed 469 euros per megawatt hour more than five times the price recorded a year earlier so here it is up here at 469.35 that's in july 2022 you go back to july 2021 you're talking 74.13 so yeah it's going up five times in that amount of time if you go back another couple of years and see if it's even more of a difference although not as big a one um so if you come way down over here it's more than five times if you went back to say july 2019 where it's 3971 now it's in the space of four years it's going to uh, i don't even know 469.35 insane high prices i'm willing to bet wages have not nearly kept up with that and why is this supremely important except to the people of Germany because German companies are halting production to cope with the rise of energy prices now bear in mind Germany is a very big uh, exporter of vehicles vehicle parts and industrial type stuff like that chemicals metals and things of that sort so if we in the United States where we are are say needing to buy farm equipment for our food supply German made cars or anything like that then these industries are either scaling back their production or stopping production altogether which is going to make a crunch on the available materials and parts and things out there on the market which is going to of course raise prices since we are in such a global economy you can't expect for a minute that the things that's happening in germany and france and england and around europe 
with the whole Russia war in Ukraine situation, as well as the stuff that was happening before that, because this was all happening to a lesser extent before the war. It's just gotten worse since then. Don't let them tell you it wasn't, because it was. Then um, all this stuff is going to affect the world, the entire world economy. Just like when they had the crash in 2008 in the housing market in the United States, it caused a worldwide recession. Uh, I saw today that it's expected to be a third quarter in a row uh, below GDP in the United States. Two quarters in a row is a recession. Three quarters in a row of negative GDP, there's no way that you know people can deny it. I mean, they probably still will. They can go on TV and say whatever they want because not a lot of people going to believe them. But we're in a recession, and it's going to get worse, not better. Well, I mean, it, this is the kind of stuff that that will cause riots in the streets. Food is a weapon. I went back to 1974 for this. We were talking about um, those who control the food, control the population. And they were talking about, in this, what they could do to control with birth control policies and with food policies to control the population. Interesting how this comes up. Bought a gallon of milk. It's four ninety nine for a gallon of milk from Kroger's. I could not believe it. It's like four ninety nine for a gallon of milk. So here we go. Farmers struggle to keep up with the rising costs of fertilizer. Fertilizer prices have skyrocketed as much as three hundred percent since early twenty twenty one. So the cost is going up. It hasn't gone up three hundred percent in the store yet because the lag. There's always a lag behind the. The producer's cost and the consumer cost. So these costs have been going up and up and up and up for those who are producing. So you've got fertilizer prices are up, fuel prices are up, electricity prices are up, part prices are up. When you can still get them with the supply chains and then they're going to be that much harder next year because people who are exporting those parts are shutting down their factories right now due to high energy costs. So what do you think is going to happen to the food cost as of next year? Our EIA says expect historically high energy prices through 2023. It's going to go a lot further than 2023. They're just talking about that now. But we already know that it's not, no, there's no magic pill that's going to all of a sudden make it happen uh, to come bring prices back down. So hopefully you're still stockpiling away some of that rice, some of the beans. You got to, if you have the means, get a second freezer and put, the, uh, put some meat up and make sure that you're getting those seeds. And this is just an update. We'll follow up uh, if people like this format. Leave me some comments and like, share, subscribe. Try to get this news out because people need to be ready for what's coming. SHTF Garden.